हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज अंश फ्रॉम बेट एंड टैक एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वाई फाई नेटवर्क हाउ दे वर्क वॉट आर देयर स्पीड्स एडवांटेजेस एंड लिमिटेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Most of you have used Wi-Fi, right? I know in this revolutionary age of geo network, you may not, but at some point of life, you must have used it at least as a public hotspot. Wi-Fi is a wireless network which allows network devices to communicate wirelessly. That means you don't need to use cables or cords to set up a connection. It is not actually known as wireless fidelity, as most of us believe it to be. It is a type of wireless local area network used to set up connections within a short range like offices, buildings and houses. To be able to use Wi-Fi, you need to have a system which can transmit or route the incoming wireless signals from the internet. This system or device is popularly called router or modem and it is the access point of your Wi-Fi connection. It receives the radio frequency signals coming from the internet provided by your ISP and then sends them to the nearby devices supporting wireless connectivity. These devices may be your smartphone. Now almost all smartphones support Wi-Fi connectivity or laptop, tablets or even your desktop PC with a wireless card or USB adapter. Now this Wi-Fi facility is owned by the Wi-Fi Alliance and is a registered trademark of this organization the institute of electrical and electronics engineers or the ieee regulates the connection standards and it works on 802.11 ieee standard the radio frequency signals used for wifi have two frequencies namely the 2.5 gigahertz band and the 5 gigahertz band the 5 gigahertz band supports larger bandwidth and speed The range of 5 gigahertz is less as the frequency is more. So a 5 gigahertz band provides better speed at a shorter range, while a 2.5 gigahertz band has a longer range but slow speeds. Repeaters can be used to increase the range of the Wi-Fi signals. The router serving the internet is also called gateway as it acts as a gate between outside internet and the local network. If you are using a Wi-Fi, your device will be assigned a local IP address either dynamically by the dynamic host configuration protocol or manually. This local IP will help to identify your device inside the local network and it will start with something like 192.168.x.x or 10.10.x.x. But if you search on the web for your IP it will not show you this IP it will show you the public IP address which is actually the IP address of the gateway which receives the signals from the outside internet there is also a term called wifi hotspot which means you can share your mobile's internet connection either wireless or wired with other devices using the wifi facility In that case your device will become an access point or a hotspot. You just need to have the internet working and the Wi-Fi hotspot turned on. Anyone near you can connect to the hotspot directly or with a password if you have set it already. Now this Wi-Fi connection is not always free. They are free if you are connected to a public hotspot like in hotels, restaurants, railway stations, hospitals. but if you want to set up the one in your home you need to pay for that you need a router and an access to the admin page of the router so that you can change wifi settings and password for security always keep a password protected wifi or people will steal your wifi at speed so here we come to the end of this video if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to get more informative videos like this in the future So until next video stay tuned keep watching and goodbye